Yes. Then uh, the aim, so the outline of this uh, lecture is definition of health, health dimensions and determinants, indicators of health, public health issues, and summary, and lastly, the questions. Definition of health, as earlier uh, we said, the different uh, in paras, and this is uh, ultimately the one uh, final uh, definition of health uh, made by WHO in 1948. The health is a state of complete physical, mental, and social well being, and not merely an absence of disease or infirmity. Later, added in 1977, World Health Assembly at Alma Atta, USSR, the socio economically productive life and spiritual health component, uh, along with uh, physical, mental, and social. The spiritual uh, aspect was also added and followed by fundamental human rights. So, the new philosophy of health is now health is a fundamental human rights, health is the essence of productive life, that is, socio economically uh, productive life, health is intersectoral, so different sectors are involved with the health, and uh, health is uh, an integral part of development. Health is central to the concept of quality of life. So this is a very hard time for the humanity, as you know, how health become the number one entity of, for every person in this COVID-19 period. So health involves individual, state, and international responsibility. As you are seeing, what our government is doing for making the vaccine, providing the infrastructure of public health and international responsibility also United Nations and WHO are also uh, taking responsibilities, various responsibilities, making international public health laws. Uh, and uh, health and its maintenance is a major social investment. So lastly, health is a worldwide social goal. Community health, we can say, uh, uh, that a community is a group of people who might have different characteristics but share geographical location, setting, goals, or social interest. Examples of uh, communities include people living in the same town. Uh, like in uh, Haldwani, we, if we are living in the Haldwani, so we are the community of Haldwani uh, city. And uh, members of a church or members of a sports team. Community health is a, is a field of public health that focuses on studying, protecting, or improving health within a community. It does not focus on a group of people with the same shared characteristics like age or diagnosis, but on all people within a geographical location or involved in a specific activity. Factors which are affecting community health are several factors that can affect community health, including physical factors like the geographical and environmental position of a community, uh, which affects disease prevalence, community size, overcrowding, uh, industrial development, and levels of pollution. Sociocultural factors like beliefs, norms, and traditions define attitudes towards health and influence practices that are either beneficial or harmful to health. Economic and political status of a community also affect the affordability and availability of care. Community organizations play in, plays a role in the presence of health care options, as well as the extent to which members know the priorities and participate in lobbying and promotion of community care. In addition, individual behavior or personal choices, such as the choice to get immunized or to recycle waste, also contribute to the well-being of the whole community. Dimensions of health are basically physical dimension, mental dimension, social dimension, spiritual dimension, emotional dimensions, Vocational, vocational dimensions, others are philosophical, cultural, socio-economic, environmental, 
educational, nutritional, curative, preventive dimensions, or many more, maybe. So this is the uh, this is the figure uh, of health determinants. Uh, this is uh, New England Journal of Medicine, 2007. Health status is uh, determined by 30 percent. Uh, uh, due to genetics, our anatomy, our uh, factors which uh, we have uh, taken from our ancestors, only 10% by healthcare, but 60% are by social and environmental conditions and our behavior, the individual behavior responsible for 60% health status. So health is uh, multifactorial. The factors which influence health lies both within the individual and externally in the society in which he or she lives. It has become a fact that uh, what man is and to what diseases he may fall victim mostly depends on a combination of two sets of factors, his her genetic factors and the current social and environmental condition prevailing and his or her behavior pattern. These factors interact and these interactions may be health promoting or deleterious. Thus, conceptually, the health of individuals and whole communities may be considered to be the result of many interactions. Biological determinants are of health are the, the physical and mental traits of every human being are to same extent determined by the nature of the genes at the moment of conception. The genetic makeup is unique in that it cannot be altered after conception. A number of diseases are now known to be of genetic origin, that is, chromosomal anomalies, errors of metabolism, mental retardation, some types of diabetes, etc. etc. The state of health therefore depends partly on the genetic constitution of men or women socio cultural social and cultural and behavioral conditions the term lifestyle is uh, rather a, a diffuse concept often used to denote the way people live reflecting a whole range of social values attitudes and activities it is composed of cultural and behavioral patterns and lifelong personal habits that is the smoking, alcoholism, that have developed through processes of socialization. Lifestyles are learned through social interactions with parents, peer groups, friends and siblings, and through school and mass media. Environmental determinants are, uh, it was Hippocrates who first related, related disease to environment. Uh, that is climate, water, air, etc. Centuries later, Pantenkofer in Germany revived the concept of disease environment association. Environment is classified as internal and external. The internal environment of man pertains to each and every component part, every tissue, organ and organ system and their harmonious functioning within the system. Internal environment is the domain of internal medicine. Indicators of health. Next comes. It is very important for any country, for any region, for any individual and community also. What are the indicators of health? Indicators a required. Uh, indicators required not only to measure the health status of the community but also to compare the health status of country with uh, that of another one for assessment of health care needs for allocation of the scarce resources for activities and programs and for monitoring and evaluation of health services of population indicators help to measure the extent to which the objectives and targets of the program are being attained Major indicators are as follows. Uh, these are the mortality indicators, that is the death rate, the 
mortality rate of any community or country morbidity rate uh, indicators that is uh, like uh, we are we were listening that he is comorbid morbid along with uh, covid 19 many people has uh, the morbidity uh, patterns with the, them so they they may become more uh, more uh, serious in this covid uh, 19 period so disability indicators some people have disabilities also nutritional status uh, indicators the the what is the nutritional status of any community it, it depends various things are responsible for this our uh, public distribution system our uh, our agriculture system our organic food everything our socio economic status our uh, environment of uh, um our uh, area or our community health care delivery indicators health service utilization rates are people are uh, taking the benefits of health services prevailing health services or not social and mental health indicators environmental indicators the the air quality the pollution etc etc socio economic indi indicators the income the the the, the salary the, the the occupations the employment health policy indicators quality quality of life indicators and other indicators environmental in indicators we can discuss here the what are the environmental indicators these reflects the quality of uh, physical and biological indicators continue to be used as the starting point in the health environment in which diseases occur and in which the people live they include indicators relating to pollution of air and water radiation water radiation solid wastes noises noise exposure to toxic substances in food or drink among the these the most useful indicators are those measuring the proportion of population having access to safe water and sanitation facilities as for example percentage of household with safe water in the home or within 15 minutes walking distance from a water standpoint or protected well adequate sanitary facilities in the home or immediate vicinity 